Welcome to Fiction Novel Narratives. Chapter 131 Subduing the Floor Boss, Baylor. Roar. A violent aura, roaring howls, filled the entire floor. Finn stared in astonishment at the scene before him. Baylor, the 47th floor boss, was unexpectedly suppressed to such an extent. There were even faint traces of being overwhelmed. This wasn't like the other floor bosses, Baylor, as the 47th floor boss, had strength comparable to level 7. Throughout Orario, there had never been heard of anyone who could single-handedly challenge and defeat him, especially not someone who could defeat him. However, today, such a scene was unfolding before him. In the distance, August and Baylor were engaged in battle. At this moment, August had entered his demonization, emitting a terrifying aura. Baylor, be the ladder for my ascension. Swinging the Zanpakuto in his hand, August directly wounded Baylor. However, this further triggered Baylor's ferocity. Ruor. Regardless, he was the 47th floor boss Ruh, vastly different from the previous floor bosses. Sit upon the frozen heavens, Hiren Meru. August directly used Chikai, intending to test the power of Hiren Meru against Baylor. In an instant, an extremely cold breath was released, and the surrounding temperature dropped significantly. How? Baylor lunged towards August, who responded with a slight smirk. Leaping to evade Baylor's attack, August swung down his higher in Meru. The frigid aura instantly froze everything in the vicinity, including Baylor. This amazed Finn even more, it was ice magic, and without the need for an incantation. Bang! The battle continued. In the blink of an eye, Baylor broke free from the ice. Get Shuga Tenshou. The power of extreme cold infused into Get Shuga Tenshou, transforming it into a deep blue crescent. This was something August discovered by chance, similar to Ray's non, Get Shuga Tenshou had different possibilities. In Bleach, Ichigo Kurosaki initially had a blue Get Shuga Tenshou because it was the most basic riot suit. However, after encountering a hollow, and as he delved into hollowfication, Get Shuga Tenshou turned black, incorporating the hollow's riot suit. Now, August did the same, adding both dark magic and ice elemental magic to get Shuga Tenshou. This experiment proved August's idea to be correct. Rumble. Following that, the deep blue crescent struck Baylor directly. In addition to the cutting power, the force of extreme cold also erupted, freezing Baylor once again. Swish. Taking advantage of the situation, a series of ice bullets, like a flock of birds, attacked the frozen Baylor. Roar. After a while, Baylor broke free from the ice once again. However, at this point, Baylor had started to weaken. The once violent aura had diminished significantly. Clearly, August's successive attacks had inflicted damage. The final blow is next. August spoke slowly, and then his armament hacky enveloped higher in Meru. But it wasn't over yet. The power of darkness, extreme cold, and conqueror hacky, all the powers that August could add were in use. Instant slash. His figure disappeared from the original spot, utilizing the spatial skill, blink. Following that, a destructive slash aimed directly at Baylor's head. Splurt. A massive head flew into the sky. August smiled, he had won this battle decisively. Bang. Baylor's giant body fell, but it hadn't died. In the area where his head severed, it continued to regenerate. August naturally wouldn't give it a chance. His treasury unfolded, and another Zanpakuto swiftly pierced through the magic stone inside Baylor's body. Rumble. The magic stone was destroyed, and Baylor instantly turned into ashes, disappearing. Ding. Congratulations, host, for completing the quest path of the strong, kill the 47th floor boss, Baylor. Completion reward, advanced gacha draw 3. With the quest completed, three advanced gacha draw were obtained. Finn, who had been watching from start to finish, didn't know what to say at this moment. Meanwhile, Ace, who saw the battle end, quickly ran over. Congratulations, you won. Of course. I am your man. How could I possibly lose? Ace sweetly smiled and hugged August. She had felt proud of her man more than once. Seeing this from a distance, Finn suddenly felt satiated. Well, just now he was surpassed by a rookie, 
and now he had be annoying Mosquito. Was someone specifically targeting him at this moment, Finn really wished his old friends, Riveria, and Gareth, were here. At least he could share the joy and sorrow with them. As for Riveria and the others, after the murder incident on the 18th floor, they stayed in the 30th floor for two days and left after obtaining some magic stones. August expressed his intention to continue exploring, and naturally, Ace accompanied him. Finn also joined to witness August's true strength. Now he wished he hadn't. Just a glance, and he could tell it was a big deal. August's strength was beyond his imagination. Whether on the 30th or the 40th floor, monsters were so weak before August, easily defeated with a wave of his hand. Now, he had witnessed August undertaking the great feat of subjugating the 47th floor boss, Baylor. It had only been a short time since August arrived in Orario, just over two and a half months, not even 80 days. Yet, he had surpassed Finn. It was truly unbelievable. At the same time, Finn could confirm one thing, August's special skill, lust. This skill might really work as Loki speculated. Intimate relationships between men and women could make August stronger. As for whether it worked with women too, he didn't know. Now that the floor boss is taken care of, I'll go take a look at the 48th floor. Saying that, August took Ace's hand and walked towards the 48th floor, strolling like they were in a courtyard. Seeing this, Finn smiled bitterly, choosing not to disturb the two enjoying their time together and trailing behind alone. After arriving on the 48th floor, the system's voice rang out again. Ding. Congratulations, host, for completing the quest Eminent Reputation, reach the 48th floor of the dungeon, complete late exploration. Completion reward, advanced gotcha draw 3. August smiled satisfactorily. Now, before the expedition, he could definitely complete all third stage mission. The hunting mission was long done. Now, with the floor boss, Baylor, taken care of and reaching the 48th floor, all that remained was to go back, level up to level 4, and complete all the mission. Chapter 132 Leveling Up to Level 4 The next morning, August slowly opened his eyes. In his embrace was a sleeping ace, who, after defeating Barl yesterday and completing two quests, had returned to Orler with Ace and Fen. They arrived late at night and slept through until morning. Augustus Divus Percentum Level, Level 6 Falna, Level 3 Race, Demon Talent, Original Sin, Lust, Power of Darkness Magic, Shadow Skill, Blink, 8000 Sword Styles, Armament Haki, Getchu Gatenchao, Demonization, Full Counter, Kurohitsuji Equipment, Tears of the Goddess, Elucidator, Weibai's Look, Muramaze, Hiren Meru Noble Phantasm, Gate of Babylon. Rare Item, Inner World, Evil Pieces. Items, Automatic Smelting Furnace Magic Stone Edition. Gotcha Draws, Advanced Gotcha Draw 6. Opening the system panel and examining his personal attributes, August felt a surge of pride. In just two and a half months, he had gone from an ordinary person with nothing to this point, a remarkable achievement. August's strength had reached level 6 but this was his personal strength, unrelated to Falna status. The Falna status was only at level 3, but this dungeon expedition could certainly be upgraded, making him a level 4 adventurer. All of August's third stage mission were completed. He had saved these 6 advanced draw because his luck had been terrible lately. Gacha after gacha yielded disappointing results, with extremely low drop rates. August decided to save them up for a collective draw since these were advanced draw. Hmm. As August fantasized about drawing good drop and reaching the pinnacle of life, Ace, who was in his arms, also woke up. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Ace, still drowsy, greeted him, subconsciously sitting up in August's embrace. Although they were already open and familiar with each other, the two were still in their honeymoon phase, so they were affectionate at all times. Even just getting out of bed in the morning, when both were awake, they lingered under the covers for quite a while. Do we have anything to do today? August asked Ace. Nothing. Then let's go find Loki. It's time for me to level up. Okay. Ace nodded, her tone somewhat excited. 
After everything was tidied up, they had already eaten the breakfast August prepared, milk tea with lamb skewers. It was the breakfast he got from Gacha Draws, a total of 500 lamb skewers and a thousand bowls of milk tea. Fully satisfied, they left the room. The time was already mid-morning, and the two finally left the room. Using the observation hacky, August easily found Loki's location. Upon reaching the living room, it wasn't just Loki present. Finn, Reveria, and Gareth were also there, seemingly discussing something. Oh, oh, the young couple finally woke up. As soon as Loki saw August and Ace, she immediately teased. Loki's attitude had changed significantly from before, when she had lost her little flower, now, he had successfully transitioned from the role of an father to a father-in-law. August, being a big man, naturally didn't mind, but Ace couldn't bear it. Blushing, she lowered her head. This scene made Finn, Reveria, and Gareth all wear the smiles of older relatives. They had watched Ace grow up, and in the blink of an eye, she had grown into a woman. All right, Loki, I'm here for a reason. I know. To level up, right Finn told me. You, little monster, actually single-handedly defeated Baylor. Even Otter couldn't do that. Loki lamented, and upon hearing this news, Reveria and Gareth, who had just learned about it, were equally shocked. Well, it's a small matter. Help me level up first. August smiled, covering it up, took off his shirt, and sat in front of Loki. Loki, seeing August use such a crude method to change the topic, pursed her lips, but she didn't say anything further. She took out the needle that had been prepared long ago, pricked her own finger, and a drop of divine blood fell on August's back. August's status began to transform. The various attributes that were stuck at 999 broke through the limits rapidly, reaching 1,500. What a little monster. All attributes have reached 1,500 again. Finn and the others gathered around, even though they couldn't read the divine script, the dazzling 1,500 blinded their eyes. August smiled without saying anything. Now that all the attributes had reached their limits, it was natural to level up. As for the greatness needed for leveling up, it was not a problem. August's accumulated greatness was more than enough to level up directly to level 6. The 17th floor bosses, Goliath, 37th floor boss, Udos, and 47th floor boss, Baylor, had all been single-handedly subdued by August. These three accomplishments were enough for August to level up several times. What ability do you plan to develop this time? Is there any difference? No, it's the same as before, Hunter, abnormal resistance and healing power. Hunter. I guessed as much. While speaking, Loki helped August make his ability selection. And for this time, August still didn't show up any lucky developing abilities, making her feel disappointed once again. If August knew Loki's thoughts, he would definitely complain. His luck had not been good lately, and good luck and himself were almost unrelated. Augustus Divus Percentum. Level 3 Level 4. Strength, SSS 1500I0. Endurance, SSS 1500I0. Dexterity, SSS 1500I0. Agility, SSS 1500I0. Magic Power, SSS 1500I0. Skill, Gate of Babylon, King's Treasure, Hacky, Lust, Demonization, Full Counter. Magic, Blink, Getshu Getenshao, Shadow, Kuro Hitsuji. Development Abilities, Mystery, Magic, Hunter. Ding. Congratulations, Host, for completing the Quest New Era Legend, Promote to Level 4. Completion Reward, Advanced Gacha Draw 3. Ding. All third stage mission completed. Reward, Super Gacha Draw once. Taking the status imprint properties handed to him by Loki, August's lips curled slightly, and he drew his cards. However, when August saw Lust, he suddenly froze. How could this skill appear at this time if it were to appear, it should have appeared earlier. It didn't appear when the status was updated, and August thought the status couldn't accommodate this ability. Now it seems that Loki did it. August. This skill lust is a skill I hid for you before. Do you know about this skill? I know. You don't know. The thing is, 
even the Falna system couldn't dash. Loki subconsciously wanted to explain, but halfway through, he suddenly stiffened. Chapter 133 The Subsequent Effects of Skills The entire room fell into silence for a moment as everyone looked at August. What did you say you said you knew? Loki couldn't help but ask again. Yes, I knew, right from the beginning. This. This time, Loki didn't know what to say. August had known about this skill all along, fearing that he might have wild thoughts or even do something because of it, so Loki had erased the skill. Who would have thought that August already knew about it? So, what does the skill do? Although, in theory, everyone's skills and their effects were considered secrets or trump cards, Finn's sudden inquiry would normally cause annoyance. But August didn't mind too much, he had so many trump cards, and their numbers were increasing every day. Just returning this time and drawing gacha again would undoubtedly boost his strength. Lust, as the name suggests, is the power of desire. When Ace and I applaud for love, both of us become stronger, but I get stronger more than Ace, just a bit weaker for her. This. At this moment, whether it was Loki or Finn's trio, all of them were stunned. Loki's speculation turned out to be true. August could indeed become stronger through this absurd method, and not just him, but Ace as well. Now, August was equivalent to a walking human cheat. It's such a perverted skill, August. I really want to know, how much do you love women to be able to develop such a skill? Looking at August, Loki couldn't help but say. After all, skills were miracles born from the accumulation of a person's obsessions and possibilities through the Falna. In Loki's eyes, August developing such a skill meant that he had an almost crazy craving for the matters between men and women, otherwise, how could such a skill exist every man has fantasies about having more than one woman? Any man would have that, but being able to derive such a skill. You are definitely the first in history. Reveria spoke up at this time. August's ability, along with his ambition, really left her at a loss for words. August seemed a bit helpless about this. His ability was drawn from Gacha, not because he was truly a lecherous. However, explaining this was futile, so August accepted it. Let's not dwell on this, I'm leaving. August grabbed Ace's hand and then pushed open the door, leaving. Watching August's departing figure, Familia's fathers and mothers in the room all sighed. What do you think, Ace following August, what should we do in the future this scoundrel will undoubtedly have many women in the future. Loki sat cross-legged on the sofa, full of regrets. Ace was her beloved daughter, and now she found a man like this. What should she do no way, it's too late no, the deed is done. Finn shrugged slightly, indicating his powerlessness. Matters between men and women were never easy to handle. The only good news is that, although August is lecherous, he hasn't reached the point of loving every woman he sees, no, you don't understand. August's skill? although powerful, is a double-edged sword. If he's not careful, it can become the effort of desire and turn him into an existence like Freya. An existence like goddess Freya Loki, that's unlikely, right? Unlikely based on his skill, if he wants to, he can find a large group of women. If he messes around every day, it won't take long to create a batch of adventurers with considerable strength. This. Finn also noticed the clues, August's ability wasn't just about becoming stronger himself, there was also the matter of having a companion. In this case, August was equivalent to stealing the god's right hand, which was developing his followers. Finn had no doubt that any woman who tasted the sweetness of becoming stronger through such a method would not easily give up such temptation. After all, in Orario, except for elves, there were quite a few women who were casual about relationships. Adventurers earned a living by risking their lives, living day by day with their heads tied to their belt. So, in many cases, choosing a partner wasn't about seeking a husband to spend their lives with, but merely finding a release. If August's skill were exposed, there would undoubtedly be countless female adventurers willing to climb into his bed. This was why Loki was worried. This skill was powerful, even like a bug, but it was also a vortex. If he couldn't control it, he might fall into the abyss of desire. Today's events must not be revealed at all. Finn, go and tell Aki too. Regarding August's matters, it must be kept secret. Otherwise, 
expulsion from the familia and facing the pursuit of the familia. Loki, is this inappropriate? Inappropriate it's very appropriate. August's matters must be kept secret. I understand. Finn also understood August's importance. Because August's value was not just about this one skill. Growth rate, strength, and bizarre skills, all of these represented August's value. It wasn't an exaggeration to say that August's existence could support any familia. In the coming years or time, it could grow into the new two top familias. Now it's fine. It's fine not to ask, but once you ask, it becomes troublesome. Gareth, who had been silent and only listened, spoke up at this time. As a dwarf, he didn't have many other thoughts, and he found August quite to his liking. Well, there's no other way. Gareth, what do you think if we transfer Aki to August? Hmm, what do you mean? Haven't you noticed what Aki thinks about August? Uh, I haven't. If she doesn't like August, why would she accept the absurd task I told her before? So, you want to match them? Since you can't stop August from finding women, why not arrange it from our own familia? Good idea. And thus, Finn and Gareth completed the kind of conspiracy that only men understood. Chapter 134 Drawing Gotcha, I'm not a noob. On the other side, after August and Ace left, August couldn't wait to open the system panel. Upon seeing the card draw section, August's face lit up with excitement. Advanced Gotcha Draw 9. Super Gotcha Draw 1. A total of 10 draws, and all of them were high quality draws. Without any nonsense, August had endured the whole night, he directly opened the Gotcha Draw interface and started drawing. As the Gotcha Draw will spun, August's mood was extremely excited. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the equipment, Flame Staff. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the equipment, Hurricane Staff. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the equipment, Thunder Staff. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the equipment, Raging Wave Staff. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the equipment, Earth Staff. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the item, Seafood Soup 1000. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the item, Town Portal Scroll 10. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the item, Red Wine 1000. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the equipment, Lock of Discipline. Looking at this harvest, August was stunned. Good lord, 9 draws, 7 times he got items, and the first 5 times directly brought 5 types of attribute staves. Flame Staff, a staff with the fire attribute, infused with mana to perform fire attribute magic attacks. Hurricane Staff, a staff with the fire attribute, infused with mana to perform hurricane attribute magic attacks. Thunder Staff, a staff with the fire attribute, infused with mana to perform thunder attribute magic attacks. Raging Wave Staff, a staff with the fire attribute, infused with mana to perform Raging Waves attribute magic attacks. Earth Staff, a staff with the fire attribute, infused with mana to perform earth attribute magic attacks. Town Portal Scroll, designate a coordinate, tearing the scroll will instantly teleport to the designated location. Ladding, a chain forged by gods, possessing powerful binding force. Flame Staff, Hurricane Staff, Thunder Staff, Raging Wave Staff, Earth Staff, these attributes were all covered. Town Portal Scroll, something August, as a Warcraft player, was familiar with, he just didn't know if this scroll was for single person use or if it worked like in the game, allowing group teleportation. Finally, Ladding was August's most satisfying item. It was a weapon from Strike the Blood, belonging to the witch Natsuki Minamiya. Despite not having anti-divine properties like Enkiju that Gilgamesh had, Ladding was still a great choice. After all, it was a weapon created by the gods of this world and naturally wouldn't be weak. As for these five staves, August wasn't a mage and didn't want to fight with a staff. However, they could be stored in the treasure vault and used as turrets. In Fate Grand Order, Gilgamesh took out all his treasures as projectiles for his Melamuding-er, leaving only staves to attack. 
August thought this was a good way to use them. It not only acted as a mobile turret but also reduced the damage to weapons. Now that the advanced card draw was over, there was still one super gacha draw left, making August extremely excited. August directly started the last gacha draw, eagerly anticipating the result. Ding. Congratulations, host, you have obtained the item, World Travel Ticket. World Travel Ticket, a special system ticket that allows one-time travel. After world travel, the current world's time will freeze. Looking at the introduction of this world travel ticket, August was dumbfounded. Good lord, a world travel ticket a ticket that allows world travel this really made August extremely excited. He had just stabilized his foothold in this world, and now he could world travel again saying he wasn't excited would be a lie. With this world travel ticket, August could world travel again and freeze the current world's time. This way, he wouldn't miss anything and could also avoid any unexpected events. After the expedition, I'll try this world travel ticket. August said slowly. If there were none, he might not think much of it, but now that he had it, it was different. It was like giving a cat a salty fish, it would be tantalized, even if it resisted eating it. However, it would still feel itchy inside. What's wrong? Seeing August's constantly changing expression, Ace asked subconsciously. Nothing, just thinking about some things. Things. Ah, in Orario, I thought of a candidate suitable to be my follower. Who? No need to worry, I'll bring her back. Okay. Ace didn't think too much, and August breathed a sigh of relief. However, on second thought, it seemed that in Orario, there really was another person suitable to be his follower. A fox girl with a bumpy fate, a girl played by fate. However, it was unknown whether she was in Orario now. Choosing her wasn't because of anything else, but because of her magic, the Uchide no Kojuchi, which could upgrade a level. This kind of ability was simply cheating, especially in team battles. Tap tap tap. In the corridor, August and Ace were walking when suddenly a hurried set of footsteps sounded. August, something's happened. Rahul ran over panting, his face full of panic. What's wrong, Rahul? Oh Otter, Otter from Freya Familia, is here. Otter how did he come here? Don't know, but he specifically asked to see you. To see me? Yes, he's right at Manor Gate now. August was slightly surprised. Otter actually took the initiative to come and find him. This was something August hadn't expected. After the failure of the last battle between Alan and Gulliver brothers, August thought Freya might send Ottaar and others to attack him, or at the very least, to seek revenge. He didn't expect Otter to come directly, it was somewhat unexpected for August. Could it be because of Alan and Gulliver brothers last time? Ace looked slightly worried as she glanced at August. After all, Otter was considered the strongest person in Orario. It's okay, we'll see what's going on. August didn't pay too much attention to it, this was Loki Familia Manor, and Otter wouldn't dare to cause trouble here. After all, he is Freya's representative. He then walked out of the Familia Hall and arrived at the Manor Gate. As soon as he came out, August saw Otter standing at the gate. August's first impression was that this was a pure warrior, calm and composed, giving people an instinctual awe. Even August, couldn't help but admit that he felt pressure from Otter. This guy is indeed not like the people he fought before. As the only level 7 adventurer in Orario, he was hailed as the ultimate weapon. How could he be like the people he fought before? Chapter 135, Holding the Fort Are you looking for me? Looking directly at Otter, August spoke slowly. While August was assessing him, Otter also sized up August. Being able to defeat Alan indicates that the opponent's strength is at least level 6. Now, it seems even more so. The faint sense of oppression makes Otter confident that August can definitely match him. Recalling Freya's words, it hinted that August was already stronger than him. Originally, he had disdain for this. He was very confident that in this new era, he was the most powerful adventurer. Now, he realized he had become somewhat arrogant. Lady Freya wishes to see you. Interesting. Last time, she forcefully took me away, and after the failure, she's here to invite me. Will you go? Whether I go or not, what's the difference? 
if you're willing to go, that's naturally the best. If you're unwilling, I will report to Lady Freya. The final decision is hers. This is Otter, a pure warrior, and the ultimate weapon who completely submits to Freya. He will unconditionally follow all of Freya's orders. Whatever she says, he will not exceed it in the slightest. I thought you might forcefully take me back. It's disappointing. After completing the third task and not encountering the speculated fourth task, two special missions were refreshed. Orario's strongest adventurer, defeat the current strongest adventurer, Otter. Completion reward, advanced gacha draw 3. Creating a new legend, reach dungeon floor 59 and defeat the demi spirit. Completion reward, advanced gacha draw 5. As for new upgrade tasks and hunting tasks, there were none. This made August slightly disappointed, and he also had a guess. The rewards for these three tasks were a bit too generous, especially a super gacha draw after completing all tasks in one phase. Now that he had completed all the tasks, it was like successfully passing the novice period. These tasks were like novice tasks in a new player guide. Now that he had graduated, he could stand alone. Perhaps that was the significance of these three tasks. However, regardless of the reason, two new missions were still refreshed. One rewarded three advanced gacha draws, and the other rewarded five advanced gacha draws. Altogether, that's eight gacha draws, quite a substantial reward. Facing August's ridicule, Otto remained unfazed, just standing there, staring at August. At this moment, a group of people rushed out from the residence. Leading them was none other than Loki, who was just discussing August's skill. Behind him were Finn, Riveria, Gareth, and other core members. August was amazed to see a whole group of Familia members coming to support him. Otter, what are you doing on our turf? Loki's voice came even before the people arrived. Although she usually liked to tease Familia members, once something happened, Loki was very protective. Loki, Lord Freya has ordered me to invite August. Get lost. August is our person, just because Freya wants to see him, does that mean he has to go she's making quite a show. If she really wants to see August, let her come in person. Otter subconsciously wanted to burst out. After all, he couldn't allow anyone to speak ill of Lady Freya. Finn and Gareth walked forward directly, a spear and a giant axe protecting Loki. However, Otter soon calmed down. After all, this was Loki familiar residence, and Loki was still a goddess. If he attacked her here, it would undoubtedly cause huge trouble for Freya. August, don't worry. We're here today. No one can do anything to you. If needed, we'll go to war. Does she really think I'm afraid of her? Loki said with a carefree expression and directly pulled August behind her. August was very touched. This familia gave him a warmth of home. The people here were like family. Loki, Lady Freya doesn't mean any harm. She just wants to see August. No harm what was the meaning of that Alan and Gulliver brothers attacking August we haven't gone to find her, and she dares to come to our doorstep. That was an accident. Lady Freya has already punished Alan and the others. That's your business. We only know that someone from your familia attacked my child, and now you're here to invite him. It's too much. Otter, who didn't have much eloquence to begin with, was at a loss for words after being scolded by Loki. August found it amusing. Only Loki dared to speak to Otter like this, ignoring Lady Freya. August, are you okay? Finn asked August at this time. I'm fine. I just came out. You guys rushed out as soon as you heard Otter was looking for me. It's not easy for us. The two smiled at each other. Sometimes, some words didn't need to be said. Among the crowd, Leffy Yaw looked at August with a hesitant expression. At first, there was a lot of animosity between her and August, but with the passage of time and the contact with August, she found that August was actually a good person. Moreover, since August appeared, the once expressionless Ace now had a smile on her face every day. After this comparison, she felt that Ace and August being together might not be a bad thing. But, because August deliberately provoked her again and again, their relationship had escalated. Just now, in the 18th floor, when she was held by a boy for the first time, and that person was August, her first reaction was not disgust, 
but a slightly accelerated heartbeat. Thinking back carefully, she suddenly realized that her concern for Ace had gradually changed. From admiration and longing, it evolved into the current obsession and unwillingness to admit defeat. She wasn't angry because Ace was with other men, she was angry because the man was August. Hey, Leffy Ya, are you here to support me too? Who cares about you I'm just worried that Lady Ace will be implicated by you. Same as always, leeching off the elves. Who are you calling a leech? Leffy Ya instantly got angry, however, in the eyes of others, it looked more like being touched on a sore spot. Chapter 136 Meeting Freya Observing the somewhat solemn atmosphere around him, August took a step forward. At this moment, Loki and Otter faced each other, both like two fighting roosters, neither willing to back down. All right, Loki. Um, what's up? Leave it to me. Are you sure? It's just a small matter. Okay then, be careful. Loki looked at August, recalling August's strength, which even defeated Baylor. He wasn't too worried that August would be at a disadvantage. The only thing Loki feared was that this flirtatious guy, August, would be taken away by Freya, the goddess who began by devouring people without leaving bones. So, you're saying Lady Freya wants to see me, right? Yes. All right, then. I'll go with you. As soon as this was said, Otter was immediately stunned. Not only Otter but also Loki and the others were momentarily stunned. They came to support August, to stand by him. With them around, no one could take August away. But who would have thought that August would decide to go on his own? Hey, August, don't mess around. Don't worry, Loki, it's fine. What do you mean fine that woman's enchantment ability is terrifying? No human can escape it. Hmm, but it didn't work on me last time. The fact that it didn't work last time doesn't mean... Loki's voice suddenly stopped abruptly, staring blankly at August. She hadn't expected that Freya had already met August, and August had not been captivated by Freya's charm. This shocked her immensely. This is not something to joke about. I'm not joking with you. Last time, Freya did come to see me, but her charm didn't affect me. How is that possible her charm, even gods cannot resist? Maybe my desires are purer than hers. With these words, Loki fell silent. What did he mean was he trying to say he's more lascivious than her or that he's more skilled in playing around however, Loki also understood what August meant. With his lust skill, August had immunity to charm. And charm was, in a way, a branch ability of lust. Charm itself was about controlling the desires of others to manipulate the target. Don't worry, Loki. I won't be taken away. After all, my wife is still here. Saying this, August glanced at Ace beside him, and Loki sighed as well. Since August has already made a decision, even though she is her goddess, it's not appropriate to intervene too much. Ace looked at August with a puzzled expression, and August gave her a reassuring look, letting her know not to worry. The two of them might not have a telepathic connection, but there was still a magical connection. As for why he wanted to go find Freya with Otter, the reason was simple, August was coveting the lust emanating from Freya's body. The last intimate contact alone allowed August to absorb a massive amount of lust. If he could absorb all the lust from her body, it would undoubtedly further boost August's strength. Let's go, Otter, August said to Otter, and Otter nodded without any unnecessary words, turning around and leaving. On this side, as August and Otter left, Finn couldn't sit still. Loki, is this really okay are you really at ease? If I'm not at ease, what can I do tie him up? But that's goddess Freya. I know. Enough, wait for the news. Loki's mood wasn't great either, but she believed in August because August always created miracles. Ace watched August's disappearing figure and turned around, not going back to the manor but heading to find Tsubaki. On the other side, following behind Otter, the two walked side by side on the streets, crossing one street after another, finally arriving at Babel. On this journey, Otter didn't say a word to August, and August enjoyed the peace. Entering Babel, taking the elevator to the magical stone version of the Aurario, the two ascended rapidly, all the way to the top floor. Entering the top floor of Babel, August immediately smelled a strong fragrance. August remembered the scent, 
it was the fragrance from Freya's body. In this fragrance, there was an effect similar to aphrodisiac. August didn't know if this was Freya's goddess body fragrance or a deliberately concocted scent. Squeak. After pushing open the door in front of him, August saw a huge folding screen. Behind it was a graceful figure lying on an enormous reclining chair. Although only a silhouette could be vaguely seen, it was enough to stimulate the imagination. Otter, you can go down. Yes, Lady Freya. Then Otter turned around and went out, thoughtfully closing the door behind him. Under August's perception of the observation hacky, Otter did leave, directly leaving the top floor of Babel. August didn't hide anything and walked directly over, stepping over the folding screen. Behind it was a not-so-small area, with a massive floor-to-ceiling window right in front, offering a clear view of the panoramic view of Orario below. Standing here, there was a feeling of when standing on the peak, all mountains seem small. How come you went to look outside as soon as you came? At this moment, Freya's charming voice echoed from behind. August turned around and saw a scene that would move any man. Freya was wearing a white veil, reclining on a huge chair. The thin veil seemed like she wasn't wearing anything at all. We meet again, Lady Freya. Last time, I had Alan invite you. That child acted on his own, and I apologize for that. It's nothing. I haven't suffered any losses. On the contrary, he suffered quite a bit of injury. Because of selfishness and reckless behavior, I've already punished him severely. So, Lady Freya, you wanted to see me so early in the morning. Is there something going on? Of course, there is something. As she spoke, Freya sat up, revealing an abundance of scenery. August didn't avoid anything, he took it all in. Freya noticed this and smiled slightly, even intentionally letting August see more, inspecting more carefully. It seems that Lady Freya is quite hot. You're even sweating. Yeah, I'm quite hot. Saying this, Freya leaned closer, and an extremely rich fragrance rushed towards August. Not only that, but Freya, as goddess of beauty, also used her charm power unreservedly on August. In an instant, August's gaze became slightly dazed. However, the next second, the lust within August's body swiftly absorbed the power of lust, and August's eyes instantly cleared up. Observing the somewhat solemn atmosphere around him, August took a step forward. At this moment, Loki and Otter faced each other, both like two fighting roosters, neither willing to back down. All right, Loki. Hum, what's up? Leave it to me. Are you sure? It's just a small matter. Okay then, be careful. Loki looked at August, recalling August's strength, which even defeated Baylor. He wasn't too worried that August would be at a disadvantage. The only thing Loki feared was that this flirtatious guy, August, would be taken away by Freya, the goddess who began by devouring people without leaving bones. So, you're saying Lady Freya wants to see me, right? Yes. All right, then. I'll go with you. As soon as this was said, Otter was immediately stunned. Not only Otter but also Loki and the others were momentarily stunned. They came to support August, to stand by him. With them around, no one could take August away. But who would have thought that August would decide to go on his own? Hey, August, don't mess around. Don't worry, Loki, it's fine. What do you mean fine that woman's enchantment ability is terrifying? No human can escape it. Um, but it didn't work on me last time. The fact that it didn't work last time doesn't mean... Loki's voice suddenly stopped abruptly, staring blankly at August. She hadn't expected that Freya had already met August, and August had not been captivated by Freya's charm. This shocked her immensely. This is not something to joke about. I'm not joking with you. Last time, Freya did come to see me, but her charm didn't affect me. How is that possible her charm, even gods cannot resist? Maybe my desires are purer than hers. With these words, Loki fell silent. What did he mean was he trying to say he's more lascivious than her or that he's more skilled in playing around however, Loki also understood what August meant. With his lust skill, August had immunity to charm. And charm was, in a way, a branch ability of lust. Charm itself was about controlling the desires of others to manipulate the target. 
Don't worry, Loki. I won't be taken away. After all, my wife is still here. Saying this, August glanced at Ace beside him, and Loki sighed as well. Since August has already made a decision, even though she is her goddess, it's not appropriate to intervene too much. Ace looked at August with a puzzled expression, and August gave her a reassuring look, letting her know not to worry. The two of them might not have a telepathic connection, but there was still a magical connection. As for why he wanted to go find Freya with Otter, the reason was simple, August was coveting the lust emanating from Freya's body. The last intimate contact alone allowed August to absorb a massive amount of lust. If he could absorb all the lust from her body, it would undoubtedly further boost August's strength. Let's go, Otter. August said to Otter, and Otter nodded without any unnecessary words, turning around and leaving. On this side, as August and Otter left, Finn couldn't sit still. Loki, is this really okay? Are you really at ease? If I'm not at ease, what can I do tie him up? But that's Goddess Freya. I know. Enough, wait for the news. Loki's mood wasn't great either, but she believed in August because August always created miracles. Ace watched August's disappearing figure and turned around, not going back to the manor but heading to find Xabiki. On the other side, following behind Otter, the two walk side by side on the streets, crossing one street after another, finally arriving at Babel. On this journey, Otter didn't say a word to August, and August enjoyed the peace. Entering Babel, taking the elevator to the magical stone version of the Orario, the two ascended rapidly, all the way to the top floor. Entering the top floor of Babel, August immediately smelled a strong fragrance. August remembered the scent, it was the fragrance from Freya's body. In this fragrance, there was an effect similar to aphrodisiac. August didn't know if this was Freya's goddess body fragrance or a deliberately concocted scent. Squeak. After pushing open the door in front of him, August saw a huge folding screen. Behind it was a graceful figure lying on an enormous reclining chair. Although only a silhouette could be vaguely seen, it was enough to stimulate the imagination. Otter, you can go down. Yes, Lady Freya. Then Otter turned around and went out, thoughtfully closing the door behind him. Under August's perception of the observation hacky, Otter did leave, directly leaving the top floor of Babel. August didn't hide anything and walked directly over, stepping over the folding screen. Behind it was a not-so-small area, with a massive floor-to-ceiling window right in front, offering a clear view of the panoramic view of Orario below. Standing here, there was a feeling of when standing on the peak, all mountains seem small. How come you went to look outside as soon as you came? At this moment, Freya's charming voice echoed from behind. August turned around and saw a scene that would move any man. Freya was wearing a white veil, reclining on a huge chair. The thin veil seemed like she wasn't wearing anything at all. We meet again, Lady Freya. Last time, I had Alan invite you. That child acted on his own, and I apologize for that. It's nothing. I haven't suffered any losses. On the contrary, he suffered quite a bit of injury. Because of selfishness and reckless behavior, I've already punished him severely. So, Lady Freya, you wanted to see me so early in the morning. Is there something going on? Of course, there is something. As she spoke, Freya sat up, revealing an abundance of scenery. August didn't avoid anything, he took it all in. Freya noticed this and smiled slightly, even intentionally letting August see more, inspecting more carefully. It seems that Lady Freya is quite hot. You're even sweating. Yeah, I'm quite hot. Saying this, Freya leaned closer, and an extremely rich fragrance rushed towards August. Not only that, but Freya, as goddess of beauty, also used her charm power unreservedly on August. In an instant, August's gaze became slightly dazed. However, the next second, the lust within August's body swiftly absorbed the power of lust, and August's eyes instantly cleared up. Chapter 137 Goddess Freya At the very top of Babel, a scene unfolded depicting the most primitive aspects of humanity. Two hours later, after all the dust had settled, Goddess Freya, while being the goddess of beauty, was also the goddess of desire. From the moment of her birth, 
she was destined to be entangled with desire, forever craving, and seeking it. For millions of years, gods, heroes, kings, generals, warriors, and more, no man had ever satisfied her. They could only bring her momentary pleasure. After pleasure, however, came greater emptiness. That's why she would only taste a child once. But today, she finally experienced the satisfaction she had longed for in history. The reason was simple. As the goddess of desire, she was naturally entangled with desire. Therefore, no matter how hard she searched, she could never find a man who could satisfy her. Because desire is endless, and the more one indulges in it, the deeper it becomes. However, August happened to be the master of the original sin of lust. The desire entwined around Freya was an immeasurable nourishment for August. After devouring a portion of desire's burden, Freya, relieved of pressure, naturally felt satisfied. However, it was temporary. As the goddess of desire, she would fall back into the same pattern shortly. This was her fate, something that could never be changed. You're the first, the first man who has truly satisfied me. Lying there, emitting a charm that captivated, Freya gazed at the man in front of her and spoke slowly. Well, I feel honored. August smiled lightly, feeling the surge of magic power in his body that had increased several dozen times. His mood was exceptionally pleasant. Having rolled in the sheets with Freya, his magic power had increased so much. And this was still the case with a considerable amount of lust yet to be fully digested. At this point, August's strength had reached the peak of level 6. After digesting all the remaining lust, he might stabilize at level 7. And this was just a portion of the lust from Freya. Yes, the lust power on Freya was just too vast. Even August couldn't absorb it all at once. After all, August's stomach had its limits. If exceeded, it would burst. What a heartless man. Once you put on your clothes, you act like you don't know me. Don't say such things. There's no emotion between us. It's just a mutual exchange of interests and a little connection of desire. You want to lighten the burden, and I want what you have on you. That's all. If you're willing, I can give you everything, whether it's my familia, everything I possess, or even myself. Everything can be yours. Freya stared at August and said slowly, stating words that were enough to overturn the entire Aurario. While other familias gods might not have the qualifications to say such things, it was different for her. All members of her familia were her devoted subjects. In Freya familia, Freya's voice was the only one that mattered, something impossible for any other familia. Not interested, Freya. I have no feelings for you. Not now, not in the future. Between us, there is only a purely transactional relationship, plus a little desire connection. August was not afraid to provoke Freya. After sleep with Freya for loved ones, he also discovered Freya's true colors. This woman was entangled with desire. Only he, as the original sin's lord, could help her. He held absolute control. After all, everything fears the first time. It was precisely because of experiencing the light that one could not tolerate the darkness. After this time, Freya would absolutely be unable to refuse him because the feeling of being devoured by desire would make her wish for death. Freya gazed at August, and her expression slowly began to change. However, in the end, it returned to calm because the one in control was not her. By the way, Freya, I need you to do something for me. Um you just rejected me, said such things, and now you want me to help you you truly are a heartless man. Ignoring Freya's words, as there were no emotions to begin with, August naturally wouldn't give her respect. I remember your relationship with Ishtar is not good, right? Hmm Ishtar why do you ask about her? Naturally, I have my reasons. Indeed, my relationship with her is not good. We both have the same divinity and divine responsibilities. But while I am at the pinnacle, she is relegated to the sewers, naturally harboring intense resentment towards me. She said so, but Freya's face slowly became a mix of smiles and contempt for Ishtar. She had never regarded Ishtar highly, just a woman who couldn't understand her own position. Although they both held the divine responsibilities of beauty goddess, the authority she possessed far surpassed Ishtar's. In Ishtar familia, there is someone I'm interested in. I need to bring her out. 
Oh for such a matter, shouldn't you go to Loki after all, you're part of her familia. There are some things I don't want my familia to get involved in. Really makes me jealous. Truly treating differently. I need you to help me because that child, her name is Sanjano Haruheim, is a fox woman. Fox woman are you trying to do something different? I'm not as promiscuous as you, goddess. That child is useful to me, or rather, her magic is useful to me. Magic. That's right, she's also one of Ishtar's attempts to bring you down from the divine pedestal. Bring me down with her. Freya's face was full of disdain, not to mention that their combat capabilities were not on the same level. Her subordinates included Otter, who was level 7, Alan at level 6, and the retired Mia. As for level 5, there were even more. Aside from Gulliver brothers, there were many other children under her. On the other hand, Ishtar Familia had only one level 5. The difference in combat power was too great, not even in the same league. Don't you know Ishtar has asked Hermes to help her bring back a killing stone? A killing stone was a special artifact with extraordinary power. However, it needed to have the soul of a fox person sealed within to be used. On the night of the full moon, it became a sacrifice. After the sacrifice was completed, the killing stone would shatter, and each fragment would possess the abilities of the sacrificed person. Add to August's mention of a fox woman, and Freya instantly understood the whole story. So, the fox woman, highly valued by both Ishtar and you, is indeed extraordinary. Yes, her magic is quite powerful. Freya nodded. It seemed that this fox woman was truly exceptional. Chapter 138 I'll be coming often. After explaining the matter with Haruheim, August bid farewell to Freya. August's attitude towards Freya was clear. Having some fun was okay, but don't talk about emotions. August didn't have that kind of spiritual purity. Although he had a lust problem, he wasn't looking to settle down with Freya. It was just about craving her body and lust. August wouldn't reject a relationship with Freya for his own benefit, but he wouldn't take it to heart either. Moreover, only after truly being with Freya did August experience the true beauty of a woman. This goddess's experience could be said to be unmatched by few women. So, being with her was an ultimate enjoyment for any man. Of course, this was like going for a big rod, very enjoyable, but just an occasional trip. If it really came down to making a choice between Freya and his own woman, then Freya would undoubtedly be the one abandoned. It was just for fun, to satisfy his cravings, but it would never become the main course. Bang. After coming out, August saw two people. One was Otter, standing there with indifference. Even if someone told him that his beloved goddess slept with another man, he wouldn't mind at all. He was undoubtedly the top-tier simp. The other was Alan, who had been beaten by August before. Now, looking at August, he wished he could bite August to death. The goddess he admired and loved was now with his enemy. For him, this was a double injury. Add to that the punishment he received from Freya earlier, and it was a triple injury. Oh. Isn't this Alan your injuries have healed quite well? Not bad. You bastard. What's wrong want to fight me sure, but I can't guarantee your life. After all, our statuses are different now. Killing you won't make Freya treat me any differently because of you. Damn thing, don't think that getting the attention of Lady Freya once makes you so arrogant. You only had good luck this once. Alan shouted like this, but his words were more like mocking August than provoking him. Because everyone in the familia, including Otter, had never received Freya's attention for the second time. No second time well, sorry about that. I'll be coming here often from now on, Alan. You. By the way, I heard that Anya, the employee from Hostess of Fertility, is your sister, right I wonder how she's doing. Dare you do anything to Anya, and I'll kill you for sure. Now, Alan was furious. Although his relationship with Anya was very poor, she was still his sister. He absolutely wouldn't allow this man to harm Anya just to provoke him. Ha kill me come on, let me see. August stood there, radiating an aura of dominance, and instantly rewarded Alan with his intimidating presence. In that instant, Alan seemed to have returned to that moment when he was utterly crushed without suspense. At this moment, the previously furious Alan, 
facing August, didn't react with anger but with retreat, fear, and trepidation. Since the moment when August crushed his pride and will, he had already been ruined. His heart was shattered, and unless he could stand after being broken, his whole life would be spent living in the shadow and fear of August. Just like now, in front of August, the once arrogant Alan turned into a dead dog. It seems your vice captain isn't that great, Otter. Otter looked at Alan indifferently, and seeing Alan's body trembling slightly, he understood that Alan was finished. This made him even more contemptuous of Alan. He had only failed once, and now he looked like this. Back then, he had challenged the Zeus and Hera Familia with only level 3, getting beaten by any ordinary member each time. But he still kept challenging. Failure wasn't terrible, but what was frightening was that, along with failure, his persistence was also shattered. Otter, how about you take over let's have a go. Honestly, I'm curious about your strength. No interest. You're Lady Freya's companion now. I won't lay hands on you, otherwise, Lady Freya won't be pleased. How boring, Otter. Patting Otter's shoulder, August left the place. Deeply looking at August's back, a hint of fighting spirit flashed in Otter's eyes. He also longed for a battle with August. Since the conclusion of Zeus and Hera Familia back then, he hadn't had any opponents. For a warrior, it was a kind of torment. Otter, Alan, come in. Just at this moment, Freya's voice came over, and Otter and Alan immediately walked inside, as if receiving an imperial edict. At this moment, Freya, already dressed, still exuded an irresistible charm from head to toe. Compared to before, Freya's face was now rosy, giving off an afterglow. Lady Freya. Otter, get ready. Tonight, investigate whether the Ishtar Familia has a fox woman named Sanjoun Haruheim. Yes. Otter nodded, as a most loyal servant, he only executed orders without asking why. Freya's gaze then fell on Alan. For a moment, Alan's back was covered in cold sweat. Alan. Lady Freya. It seems you have grievances against me. Dare not. Everything about Alan belongs to Lady Freya. How could he dare to have grievances that's impossible? This wasn't a lie but his genuine thought. Not only him, but everyone in the familia thought the same way. Really just now, I seem to have heard you say that I will only favor August this once. When can you make decisions for me? Alan doesn't dare. Please forgive me, Lady Freya. Alan immediately knelt down, his face full of fear and concern. He wasn't worried that Freya would punish him. Instead, he was afraid of leaving a bad impression on Freya and being abandoned by her. For members of the Freya Familia, the most severe punishment was for Lady Freya to abandon them. It was a despair similar to shattered faith. Alan, do you know, August is special. He is an absolute existence for me. He's the first person in this world to give me satisfaction. So, do you understand what I mean? Alan understands. Alan was in great pain. His goddess had completely sided with his enemy. But, for the sake of his lady Freya, he was willing to let go of his hatred. Chapter 139 The Fox Woman Delivering That's how it went, days passing by, and August's life returned to normal. Every day, he spent time with Ace and Sabaki, occasionally checking in on his lil bro, Bell. Every now and then, he enjoyed Freya company. And so, a month passed like this. A new expedition was ready, but unlike before, August would be joining this time. Except for some emergency supplies, August stored everything else in the treasury, significantly reducing the pressure on the expedition team. In addition, the original second combat squad and logistics team were integrated, significantly reducing the number of personnel involved. After all, in an expedition, more people doesn't necessarily mean better. In the dungeon, no one knew what could happen at any given moment. Under the night sky, Finn stood on a high platform, assigning tasks to all members participating in the expedition. On the side, Gareth and Reveria also looked serious. This was an experiment. Due to August, Finn reduced the second combat squad and integrated it with the logistics team. Since there was no need to worry about logistics, Finn also reduced a significant number of logistics personnel. As for the first combat squad, it naturally consisted of Finn and the core members. 
while August had strong abilities, he was still assigned to the logistics team. His position was the core of the team, and a core shouldn't be sent to the front lines. If something really happened, it would be troublesome. Tomorrow is the expedition. Kid, do you have anything to say? Loki looked at August and spoke slowly. For Loki, she couldn't completely understand August because he was just too extraordinary. As a goddess, she naturally could see that August had some relationship with Freya, but August wasn't captivated by Freya. Instead, it seemed like Freya was captivated by him. In the past month, with the intentional goodwill from Freya, the relationship between the two major familia had eased considerably. What's there to say with my current strength, this is just a small matter. Well, that might be true. Although he officially had a level 4, Loki had long since lost track of August's true strength. A month ago, August already had the strength to individually defeat the floor boss Baylor. Now, after a month, August had definitely become even stronger. It's been a month, and I'm really curious. What did you do to that woman to make her so infatuated with you? Maybe it's the charm of a man. I don't want to hear it. Loki rolled her eyes, showing that she didn't want to talk to August. However, for the entire month, she had more than once felt fortunate that August joined her familia. If it were another familia, the current situation might not be so good. Tap tap tap. In a scene similar to a month ago, Rahul hurriedly ran over again. August, Otter is here again. Hi, Otter is here again is he alone? No, this time he's with a woman, a, uh, a fox woman. Hearing this, August's eyes lit up, and he immediately rushed out. Loki was also curious, not understanding why August was so excited. So, she followed him. Arriving at the gate, August saw two people. Otter and a woman with golden fox ears, dressed in a kimono. August, this is the person you wanted. Without avoiding others, Otter directly spoke out. Oh, it's been a month. Why did it take so long to find her? No, we found her a month ago. Then why did it take until now? Lady Freya taught her for a month. This sentence made August stunned. Freya taught Haruheim for a month one was a goddess of desire, and the other was an extremely innocent girl who would faint at the sight of a naked man. Why would Freya teach her it seemed like she was leading her astray? Hello, August Sama. I am Senjano Haruheim. I hope to be in your care for the rest of my life. Seeing Haruheim stepping forward, speaking to August with utmost respect, August, naturally sensed Haruheim's affection for him. He was puzzled. Hey, we just met for the first time. Why are you entrusting yourself to me for a lifetime? Delivery complete, I'm leaving. After saying this, Otter ignored August and left. On the other hand, August looked at Haruheim in front of him. As a certified otaku, he had no resistance to beast girls. Haruheim, which familia do you belong to now? August Sama, I used to be a member of the Ishtar familia. However, a month ago, I was saved by Freya Sama. Now, I am a member of the Freya familia. August thought to himself, of course. This fox girl belonged to the Freya familia. Although she was given to him, it felt more like she was a dispatched spy. Why else would Freya teach her for a month it seemed like she was training her underling. However, August didn't care. In his eyes, no matter what familia she was from, once she came to him, she became his person. August, you scoundrel. Fooling around outside is one thing, but letting Freya find another woman for you and sending her into the familia, you've gone too far. Get a grip, Loki. I'll explain this matter to you. Let's go back first. Saying this, he took Haruheim and walked towards the familia hall. Loki, full of anger, followed behind. Soon, in the familia hall, people gradually gathered. They were all called by Loki. All right, now that everyone is here, August, give me an explanation. Where did you find this woman? Don't think Isis for giving you means I'll let you off. At this moment, Loki was like an angry father who discovered that his son-in-law was fooling around. This made her very angry. Finn and Gareth both glanced away slightly. As men, they could understand. As for the Amazons Tiona and Shin, they weren't too concerned due to the customs of their tribe. 
although they used some harsh language, they didn't really care. As for the most concerned ones, that would be Reveria and Lefiya. These two were Asa's pseudo-mother and worshipper, respectively. Chapter 140 Magic, Achai no Kojuchi Watching the excited Loki, August sighed. Haruheim, use your magic on Finn. Yes, August-sama. Haruheim nodded. Her teachings from Freya-sama were clear, unquestionably obey all orders from August. As the servant representing the goddess Freya to serve August, Haruheim had caught the attention of the Lord. Grow. That power and that vessel. Breadth of wealth and breadth of wishes. Until the bell tolls, bring forth glory and illusion. Grow. Confine divine offerings within this body. This golden light bestowed from above. Into the hammer and into the ground, may it bestow good fortune upon you. Grow. With the chanting, Finn suddenly felt a powerful force rising within him. A chide no kojuchi, a magic to increase one's level. The magic could only be cast on one person, had a certain cooldown after activation, and the caster couldn't use it on themselves. Now, this magic was applied to Finn, directly elevating him from level 6 to level 7. So strong, my power. Finn emitted a faint glow, and his strength experienced a substantial increase. This made everyone look at Finn with intense confusion, curiosity slowly filling their eyes. What's going on, Finn? Loki, my power has become much stronger, definitely surpassing level 6. This. In an instant, Loki's expression turned incredibly shocked. Finn's current strength, even with a year and a half of effort, it would be challenging to make any slight improvement. Yet, now he had become stronger due to a single magic. What's happening? Loki's gaze fell on August, clearly waiting for an explanation. This is Haruim's magic, Achai no Kojuchi. It can temporarily increase a person's level by one. However, after use, there's a cooldown, and it can't be used again for a short period. Is this true? Disbelieving eyes turned to Haruheim. This kind of magic was incredibly powerful. With someone like this, they could play a crucial role in battles. For second or third level adventurers, gaining one level might not make a significant difference. But for Finn, a top level adventurer at level 6, leveling up once was a tremendous enhancement. However, Loki's immediate reaction was to think about Otter from Freya Familia. Wouldn't Otter reach level 8 with this magic moreover, Haruheim, despite being sent here, still belonged to Freya Familia. After a while, the effects on Finn disappeared, and his strength returned to normal. This increase and decrease made Finn feel a sense of loss and gain. However, it also made everyone in the room look at Haruheim with fiery eyes. Such magic was incredibly powerful. The usually timid Haruheim immediately hid behind August, leaving everyone dumbfounded. She had scared the others unintentionally. What are you all staring at? August naturally protected Haruheim, and he spoke somewhat speechlessly to the people with shining eyes. Behind August, Haruheim also watched August carefully. She considered herself humble, and although she had received help from Goddess Freya and escaped the hellish situation of the Ishtar Familia, everything came from this man. Freya didn't deceive her in this matter. Freya brought Haruheim here because of August. For over a month, she had been curious about the man who saved her without ever meeting him before. When she saw him, she was moved because she had never seen such a charming man. Kid, how did you bring her from Freya if it were me, I guess I wouldn't be able to send away such a talent. She was originally found by me. I asked Freya for help to bring her here. Found by you where did you find her? She was sold to the entertainment district by the Ishtar Familia. I didn't go there myself, as it might cause conflicts with the Ishtar Familia. So, I had Freya handle it. Ishtar Familia Entertainment District How do you know about that have you been there? Get lost. How could I, with Ace here, go to such a place even if it were Freya, she's still a thousand times better than the women in the entertainment district. Loki also smiled brightly, realizing that she had been too hasty. Given August's conditions, finding a woman was not a problem, and in Loki Familia, just a beckoning of the finger would attract a large group. However, one must not underestimate the good taste of women, they were no less lecherous than men. All right, disperse. 
It's getting late, rest well. Tomorrow, we embark on an expedition. At this point, Finn spoke, dispersing the others in the room. Because Finn spoke, everyone didn't linger and went back to their respective places. August also walked out, with Ace and Haruheim following. Oh, by the way, August, this time's expedition is in cooperation with the Hephaestus Familia. Tomorrow, Ksabeki will also join us. You go and receive her then. Okay, I understand. August nodded, there shouldn't be any problems with Ksabeki, after all, she was one of his own. Finn didn't think too much about it, but looking at the two little tails following behind August, he couldn't help but feel a bit envious. Only Loki, watching this scene, felt a little uncomfortable. Although Haruim's arrival was a good thing, the focus had shifted away from August. Tonight, she didn't question August about bringing an outsider woman home. But with this situation, she was bypassed, making Loki feel quite annoyed. However, seeing that Ace didn't show any particular rejection, Loki realized that Ace didn't dislike Haruheim. Back in the room, Haruheim and Ace followed. Haruheim, did Freya say anything when she sent you here? Freya-sama said that from now on, I am your maid. I can follow any orders you give, August-sama. It seems she regards you as a servant to be educated. But in my place, there aren't so many rules. No, it is an honor for me to serve you, August-sama. After all, you saved me. I saved you. Freya-sama said you asked her to bring me back, August suddenly understood. Freya had sent a favor his way. But August was quite pleased. He hadn't even met her, and he'd already conquered a girl. What a good thing. 